Hey, gather around. Do you want to hear a scary story? Nah, scary stories are lame. But you'll love this one. It's a true story, and it happened in our very own neighborhood. Are you talking about the Morris house? That house has been empty for God knows how long. I've always wondered why. You're about to find out. Once upon a time. Can we not start so cliche? Fine. So, in that house, around the 1700s, lived a husband and a wife. They were madly in love. The husband was a freelance painter, while the wife was a stay-at-home wife. All the husband wanted from the wife was a beautiful baby, so they tried for one. They were successful at conceiving, but shortly into the pregnancy, she had a miscarriage. They tried for another one, but again, the same. After the third miscarriage, the husband started to get angry with his wife, shouting at her things like, You're so, You're selfish. so selfish. Why can't you Why just can't give, me just give me what I want? How can you call, can yourself, call a yourself a woman? woman. 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 Wow, what an asshole. Yeah, that's not even the worst part. Soon he started to cheat on her with other women while the wife was falling deeper and deeper into depression. With every miscarriage that followed, the husband cared less about the wife's feelings and didn't care if she found out about the infidelity. One day, she saw him kissing a young lady right on the front lawn. So, what did she do? Well, she was pissed but still loved him. So she tried for a baby one more time. And... Nobody knows. The house just went empty after that. But some say she miscarried and snapped, killing the husband and left town. <laughs> <laughs> Others say she killed him, locked him in the basement of the house, and put her soul in a mirror before killing herself for which we call the Cursed Mirror. Are you serious? What? Could be true. I doubt that. Hey, you never know. There's some things in this world that can't be explained. Hello everybody, Just Nikki here and welcome back to the channel. Did y'all dig that intro? Cause I dug the intro, okay? Shout out to my friend, my best bud, Cade the Puppy for helping me out with that intro. If he has a YouTube, I will be putting his link in my description box below. But today we're going to be reviewing and testing out the Haunted Mirror mod. Uh, so, I knew about this mod like a little while ago, but it didn't really interest me enough or to get it, or I just either forgot about it. Um, but my friend Cade actually got the mod like a few days ago, and he was playing it, and I thought that would be a great Halloween video. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have a bunch of sims from the town come 
and fuck with the mirror and we're gonna see how badass it is because i heard it gets crazy so this is my little starter family this is actually my friend kate's saved family so this is this is his family and i have the house on generic so random people will come over but since it's so late i don't think that people are just gonna come on their own um so i'm going to do my little teleport thing here and also uh later on i will be making a video on the extreme violence mod that's what i used for the cuts of the wife in my story to kill the husband uh, so if you guys want a video on that i will deliver that to you okay but for right now we're gonna go ahead and use or get the uh haunted mirror out of the way first so I'm just putting a bunch of these statues and you're probably like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm putting these statues so that I can summon sims. And yes, we're going to summon a lot of sims today. Okay, I'm gonna get all these guys together and then I'll come back, okay? <laughs> Alright, so these are all of the sims. I basically have um, my whole sim family from a totally another save and some random sims that were just in the town. Uh, plus Kate's family. So yeah, we're gonna... <sighs> well, we about to get it started. I'm so excited. I made this whole house myself. Uh, I was so happy with how the house turned out. Um, I am honestly, like, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just so happy with how everything turned out. So we're gonna have everybody come in the house if, if they can. Uh, so yeah, let's go in the house together. Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Don't be stupid. Don't stay out in the rain. Come on, let's go. So, we're gonna have one of these guys uh, trip the mirror off. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, this woman here. So, we're gonna go ahead and have uh, Caitlyn come down into the creepy basement. Ooh. And we're gonna have her talk to the mirror and see what happens. Oh, I love, I love, 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 love this place. I love it so much. So what are the, what are some of the things that we can do? We can chant the bride's name, protect self from bride, chant multiple bride's names. Let's just chant that bride's name. Oh, damn. So as soon as she chants the bride's name, I'm gonna run upstairs. Whoa! Holy. Oh, shit. That scared the motherfuck out of me. Okay, let's run upstairs, please. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna teleport her here, just because I can. I know that's cheating, but... She's like way on the other end of the hallway, so hopefully the bride doesn't kill us. Okay, so all we have to do now is wait for the bride to come up. There's bats all around. Shit. Let me see, where's the bride at? Oh, there she is. Come upstairs, girl. Uh oh, I think she is actually coming upstairs. The betrayed bride. Oh shit! Guys, what is going on? Oh my goodness. 
She's actually coming upstairs! Oh, what's gonna happen? Is she gonna body everybody? I want her to kill everybody. Yo! No! <laughs> Oh no! So wait, she should be dead right now, but she's not. I wonder why. There she goes. Oh! Shit! Alright, who's next? Oh my god! Woo! Whoa! Bride. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 What the fuck was that? She's bodying everybody. What? What is happening? Oh my goodness gracious. She just killed like a whole handful of people. Alright, look. John. It's up to you, fam. You gotta save everybody in the house. She doing too much. She doing too much. I thought it was gonna- No! Don't kill him! No, 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 no! Deadly interaction. Um... No, we'll do non-deadly. Or no, we'll do deadly with a chance of survival. Choke her! Choke that bitch. Jesus. Okay. Look, she has like a crow on her. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. She's making my game lag, actually. I'm not sure if it's my recording or if it's actually her making it do this. Kill her! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Nikki! I mean, Nicole, it's up to you! Kill this bitch! Nikki, kill her! It's okay, Yuki. I just did a good thing. Yes! There you go, Nikki. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh, there's a bunch of them in here! Oh, there's even a plus size one! Okay, I see. Oh, I definitely see you. What the f- Oh. Oh no, there's another one! Oh no, I think I fucked up! So I may or may not have spawned like 12 of them. Maybe like 15. 
while everybody upstairs is getting bodied. Alright guys, well, I think I've played about enough of this mod as I want to, um, but I am going to go ahead and show you guys how you guys can get this mod for yourself, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is where I got the Haunted Mirror mod from. It's from a site called sacrificialmods.com. I will be putting that link in the description. You don't have to make an account with this. All you have to do is click on what you want and download it. This guy makes, or woman, because I'm not sure, but this person makes some pretty good mods and I cannot wait to test out the other ones. The one that I've really been wanting to try is the Hoe It Up mod. Uh, that sounds like that's gonna be fun, but I did get the Extreme Violence mod, which I will be doing a video on later, don't worry guys. And the Haunted Mirror mod, and he also has the Torture and Chaos and the Curse painting. I don't know what, I know what these things do, I know what this one does, but I don't know what this one does, so maybe I'll do another Halloween video on that. We're not, I'm not sure about that, I don't know. But... Uh, basically, if you don't know how to move stuff into The Sims 4, uh, you can go to my Wicked Whims video. I show you pretty much in depth how to do it, but basically all you have to do is click on this and then boom, it'll just download. And then you, because I already have this in my mods folder, I'm not going to show you guys everything. But you basically take this, you open it in your folder, and you move the... Uh, TS4 Haunted Mirror folder into your Sims 4 mod folder and then that's pretty much it have fun with the with the mod but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I tried really hard uh, trying to make a nice little skit in the beginning I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys have a nice and very safe Halloween this year I don't want to hear about anybody getting bodied, nobody, you know, getting razor blades in their apples or candy or whatever. You know, there's some fucked up people out there, guys. So be careful. Whatever you plan on doing this Halloween, be careful. Also, uh, if you're new to my channel or you happen to stumble across it, go ahead and subscribe. And I am Just Nikki, signing off. Bye, guys.